Hello guys and welcome back to some more Feed the Beast. As always, this is Ray. And we haven't been on here in a while. By we I mean me, no, me of course, because you guys obviously work in the movies. Um but yeah, I let this thing fill up. Ten million <laughs> milli buckets of biomass. And then I added a few more engines to the setup down here. Let's go take a look. And I also Made several more <laughs> redstone batteries and charged them up. Um, but yeah, I added an on off switch to it. So if I need to recharge my stuff, I just flip this little lever and off it goes. And I also realized that I needed another switch for the actual bio factory up there. So I put the battery on there and I ran some alloy wire up back into a repeater to shoot through the wall and turn off that battery when I don't need it now I'm in a power furnace and I'm cooking up some of this this green zycorium because um, I know you, I talked about this before about the sugarcane farm that doesn't require power or anything well since then Psycraft is updated <laughs> and Let's see. They added a lock here called Zycorium Soil. Now, you have to make it from these engineering bricks, and it has to be the green one, unfortunately. So it means all that other Zycorium I have is worthless, and this, there's a way to make this stuff otherwise, but I don't believe there is. You can't convert colors, can you? No, you can't. Alright, so, um, you make this. The nice thing about it is, is one, things grow faster on it, and two, it acts like there's water next to it. So, instead of the 80% efficient farm design that I have upstairs, which, you know, you lose one of every five blocks, that's why it's 85% efficient, you can make one giant um, block of soil for anything. So, I could put just one massive area of sugarcane. So that modifies my design a little bit on my sugarcane farm that I was referring to. So what I'm going to do is, I don't know, maybe we, I'm going to build this thing, but I don't want to build it in my base. I think I want to build it in the ocean just because that'll look cool. Um, the thing about it is, though, that I probably need like item tester X or something to move stuff over here. Or I can just use chests again, I suppose. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I'll decide that in later. But um, the way I was planning on doing it is you create the soil, and then you use block breakers on top of it. And you turn the block breaker upside down, stick a bunch of pipes in the back, and then put it on a timer. Now, the timer wouldn't have to be very big. The other thing I'm worried about is the whole, um, uh, what's the word? Words fail me right now. It's shutting it off when I don't need it. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. So, I don't know how I'm going to control that. I might do, I might do an ender chest with maybe a filter that comes out. And so, um... It only pumps items out on the other side when you need them, and then put a gate on it to detect full or empty state of the chest. So if this it's like 75% full, it disables the timer that's on it. Um, but we're going to demonstrate these blocks real quick, though. So we're going to go and grab this. This is going to be a short episode today because I've I've been really, really, really busy lately, and. Uh, haven't had a chance to really do anything. Soil. So we go. We need these engineering bricks. So it's there's green, green zycordite, redstone, and any kind of stone bricks around it. So uh, I'll do five of those. And let's grab all those stone bricks out of here. Might as well, might as well remove the, the clutter in here while I can, right? Uh -huh. Okay. I don't see anymore. That was from my turtle schizo on uh, the stronghold that Darkfan has over there. It got too close and 
started tearing it down. Fortunately for me, I was watching it, so I knew it was he was going homicidal on it. <laughs> Alright, we can only make two. Oh, that's because it's doing different kinds of bricks. Okay, so it's Let's do this manually. <sighs> nope, not that block. I want that block. Okay, I thought maybe that's why I didn't pull it in. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, click, 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 click. And I guess I have one redstone too many. There's that one. Use the mossy too. There's that one. And the redstone. Yeah, we'll just it. <laughs> All right. So now we have. 16 of these engineering bricks. I'm going to need some saplings, some iron. Fortunately for me, I've been keeping my saplings. So this will also make good for a tree farm, like a block breaker tree farm. Especially if they update the um, version of Minecraft 1.5 with the new bone meal. It's junction 4. Why am I looking in that chest? I don't know. Alright, grab a few saplings here. And let's go crack this bad boy. And is it not gonna? Oh, I don't have enough of the other saplings. Let's put this in here. Remember, inventory really needs to just be bigger. <laughs> just on its own, it needs to just instantly have stuff here. Alright. Let's grab this one. And. I've only got two more of those I can make, I think. And one more scoop of four saplings should do the trick. And two, four. There we go. And. Right, yeah, I'll definitely have to harvest some trees and stuff. I've been short on wood lately, anyway. So. That is that Korean soil? My reed farm up here is completely full because I shut everything off. Look at that. It looks crazy. Uh, here we got the reed farm full. We got this thing full of stuff. And it even has a little bit of surplus here. So, right, grab a few of those. Now, this makes the material investment to creating this farm that requires no power a little bit higher. But. It definitely is worth it. And sugar cane. And what's funny though is, yeah, see over here we go. See, you can stack them all right next to each other. So no longer low efficiency. It's a hundred percent efficient. So I had talked about this before doing this farm, and before long before this update came out, and I had prototyped it and everything and figured out how to cram the most without making it look too weird and too hard to build into 16 by 16 area <laughs> because if you don't know how minecraft works with the updates and the growth pattern it does um, for one chunk it does 16 updates per tick so if you have things you want to grow the update is what causes it to grow so if you want it to grow faster you cram as much into one chunk as you can and you just stack it up as tall as you can. So if you made one of these farms from bedrock to sky level, it would grow faster than say a giant field of the stuff with the same amount of room, simply because of the way the game works. So I had prototyped it to work in a one single chunk. So that way you'd also have to only have one chunk loader. And Figured out you had to kind of, if you do it that way, you have to put repeaters and stuff on it to delay the signal. Because if it tries to like break an entire chunk stack of blocks, so it'd be like four blocks out of 256 times 16. Yeah, that's a lot of updates at one time. And it causes server lag. Like, so I did all that and planned it all out. And then Zycraft came out with their update. And Packrat was thinking the same thing. I had been talking to him about it. And he's like, oh, look at this Zycraft soil. I'm like, what's that? And he showed me. I was like, oh, God. 
he said, yeah, I'm going to put a video out about it. And so I was like, well, go ahead. You know, I'll be copying you then because people always watch you guys first. So I think I'm going to clear this whole forest area between myself and Dark Fane now. Take off these saplings and make some blocks. Um, yeah, automated farm here, though. I don't know where. I might put it. Oh, Creeper, hello. You're so easy to fight, especially with the boots of the Traveler. Um, there's this old portal there. Old portals, I should say. I don't know, I'm, there's a bay over here to the right, and I might put it in. I might put it, like, right over here. Come on, jump. Jump up that tree, son! Yeah, I might put it, like, over here. Somewhere. Right here or something. Just build it completely up. Make sure it's chunk aligned and all that fun stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't think it's going to need to be very big, so I might just build it on top of the wonder to start with. But over time, if more people need the the sugar cane, I could obviously expand it to... I didn't even notice there was a ravine down there before. Expand it to grow more. So people can just pull from the chest and give them the color combination. And you guys get free reads. Um, obviously don't hook up 17,000 bases to it. It'll kind of run dry a bit. We'll see when that happens. Uh, I'm probably going to build you know, stuff out of glass and everything so you can see from the outside and make it look pretty neat. But yeah, that's my plans for that. For when Forest, Forester replaces the, the Sugar King Harvester with the Dirt Blocks. Or the Dirt Farm, sorry. Not Dirt Blocks. Um, for the Mob Grinder that I'm planning on making, and I was going to start bit digging out a room for it. Um, and I also created the alloy furnace. That's why I got all the red alloy wire. And that's another thing I got to figure out is the alloy bundles. Let's see. Alloy. Or bundle cable. Is it? Bundle. Yeah, see all this. Black bundle cable. Red, green, brown, blue, right, orange. Yeah, it just... What's it bundled with? I don't know. <laughs> uh... Orange bundle cable, bone yellow, white bundle cable, magenta bundle cable, bone yellow, white bundle cable. Um, how do you make them? Not right, well, uses apparently. Making them. Um, yeah. Why, why am I using paper? Right, oh, that's weird. Why would you? Why would you do that? You have this one here. That's black. Oh, that's just bundled cable. I guess you need the paper. Uh, bundle cable uses. Lots of uses for it, though. Cobblestone jacketed cable. Uh, let's click through these recipes real quick. Yeah, I'm not really... Yeah, everything requires the color. Alright, let's see the uses for these. Is it just that? Green bundle cable. Down to that. Oh, that would be stupid to do. Yeah, this is weird. I thought you could have combined a whole bunch of them together. I'll have to look that up. I will definitely have to look that up, how to do that. Um, there's item subsets here, too, you can look at. Uh, red power, wiring... Uh, bundle cable, jacketed cable, jacketed wire. Uh, anyway, um, back to what I was saying. We're talking about switching to the ultimate pack, which has Mistcraft. So, if we do that, the way I get to set up this grinder is a little different. Um, actually, I'm going to go do this while we're on camera. Um, instead of using water and everything to pull it into one area, you can use the, there's a thing that you can create like a frame, and then you put like a teleport book in the frame, and it creates, in the middle of the frame, makes a portal that gets to go to the other end where you put the, uh, the other book. 
So you can basically create a bunch of traps that fall into the portal and funnel them into like a killing area where turtles and all can hit them. Um, if you want an example, just go look at like the Madhouse vi uh, videos because they have one set up over there. Uh, we're going to stick you in here for now. Uh, but I want this. I want some soul shards. We're going to go hunting. Hunting, we will go. I just decided I'm going to do this on camera. Um, whoa. Okay, apparently my old texture pack has x-ray on it right now. Weird. Yeah, I haven't updated the texture pack. I don't have a link for the new Faithful 32, but I, I tried to use the other one and I just, no, I couldn't do it. Is that a heart? That's all you're looking heart. Um, but Dark Fan said he has some transformation powder here somewhere that I could have. So let's look for it. All right, here it is. Transformation powder. Um, only need a couple. But I am going to get um, a grinder for... I was using my stool tool shard on that thing. For um, witches. And the easiest way to get a witch, I found out, and feed the beast is to transform a druid. Now where the hell is this portal then? Through here? Or was this like the... Oh, I think this was the other... Yeah, okay, that's not the place I'm looking for. Ah, uh, stupid. Come on, Dark Fan. You should think you should make him a city and stuff. Oh, here it is. Okay, Twilight Forest. Here we come. Oh, maybe. I can get through the stupid door. Hey, look, I got to achievement. Twilight Arrival. What do you freaking do? Alright. What the hell is this? That's weird looking. Anyway, we need to go find us a druid hut. So, boots of the traveler away. Um, I wish I'd have known this before and marked one of them. <laughs> Skull. All right. This the thing is though, they might have destroyed them. That's the big thing, and I don't want to. I don't want to infringe upon anybody else. But basically, you take this transformation powder, you use it on a druid, and it turns her into a witch. And then you can kill the witch and get your soul shard for the witch. And then you can either keep doing that or make yourself a grinder and use the the, re, uh, the repair trick. What the hell is that? That's a big ass wolf. Thought it was a cow. Definitely not a cow. All right, let's just pick a direction and go. Actually, I should probably go over there and mark this portal. Otherwise, so that way I don't get lost. I bet you guys are going to say, no. Oh, look. Haha. -ha. We don't have to go anywhere. Come here, lady. Please don't piss off. Come on, lady. Yep, come on. Come get me. Come get me. Oh, I might want to do this. There we go. You missed. I didn't. Bam, I should have a witch shard now. That was easier than I thought. <laughs> witch soul shard. Ha <laughs> ha Now, if anybody doesn't know why I want one of those so bad, you put it in a monk grinder and you can get, like, glowstone, redstone, all that kind of fun stuff that's really neat to have, but isn't as renewable. Redstone as well, potion stuff, spider eyes, which out having to kill spiders. Man, that is long poison. Jeez, lady. You got some killer potion. Oh, that was quick. That was a quick trip. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> See you later, Twilight Forest. You served my purposes. Oh, that's the wrong portal. That's Dark Hands portal back to spawn. Um... Ray gets confused easily in here. Dark Fan's area is a little confusing. A little, not a lot, just a little. And boom, back through. All right, so then I just take several of these other shards. Oh, take that off of there. And create some some low-level tier shards off of them. Which I actually had one of those skeleton spawners that I had. Um, 
I moved over here with the portal gun and made a little spawner here. And so I just go down and then kill a few and create new shards out of every one of them. They repair them together and bam, I have a tier 5 soul shard. Granted, they might fix that someday. They might change. Well, I don't say fix. It's in the code. They might change that someday to where it doesn't work anymore. But until then, I will use it. So I'm holding off on creating the the grinder. Although I guess I could make it anyway. And then if they change it, then um, instead of dropping them or something, I can make a floor. So I guess I could do that. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Um, so I'll do some research. You know, what is this block that's doing this? I need to really find that updated texture pack because I don't like that. I was looking earlier and I couldn't find one. So if anyone has a link for the new Faithful 32 texture pack, let's throw some more in there. I'm going to need all the ones I can get. And then for Feed the Beast, Minecraft pack 8.2. Then send me the link so that way I can download it. Um, this is, this is staying steady. It's draining this battery here because I pulled them all out of the array. But that's fine for now. I can just throw them back in, turn the engine on when things get low. Well, I think that's all I had to update you guys on. Oh, yeah, a lot of, there's like nobody online now because we reset the fan server, the main server map. <clears throat> and so everybody will be over there for the next couple of weeks building stuff and then they'll get bored and come back. That's my, that's my theory on it. So, I'll still be playing Feed the Beast. That's where you're going to see my Let's Play from now on. I'm not going to be uploading uh, vanilla server stuff because I've done all the stuff that, you know, I don't want to restart and get everything all over again. And I'm not going to, you know, I, I have I have, uh, I have have a hard time getting on here to record anyway. So, I'm not going to basically waste my time building up something and trying to get resources when it's just going to get reset again in a year. So... I might do, if, if you guys really want me to do a vanilla series, I can do it on, like, the Madhouse, but I won't be doing it on the main fan server. I mean, I'll probably build something, but I'm not going to do a Let's Play on it, because I don't want to get halfway through it and then it go away. So, anyway, that's my updates for Feed the Beast and life in general. And, um, I'm going to, since I'm not doing my vanilla LP anymore, man, I'm just, this thing keeps just going on. <laughs> I'm going to relink my Ask Rayman Google form so you guys can submit more entries to ask me questions about anything you want to ask me about. And I will answer them during a, a Let's Play. So see you guys next time. <laughs> Later.